Hey, did you hear? ArcGIS Enterprise 10.7.1 is releasing soon. Now you might be wondering, why should I upgrade? Or what's so different about ArcGIS Enterprise 10.7.1? Well, let me tell you, there's some new functionality and features to be aware of in this release. Let's take a look here at the highlights. New functionality and changes to be familiar with in ArcGIS Enterprise 10.7.1 include bulk publishing, a new sign-in experience, new data filters, a new ArcGIS Sites Editor, fine-grained administrative privileges, web styles setup, and retired living atlas content. But don't just take my word for it. Let's go see how this new version of ArcGIS Enterprise is working out for folks who've already upgraded and installed it. Come on. Hey Brad, how's ArcGIS Enterprise 1071 working out for you? So far, I'm loving it. I really enjoy this new clean sign-in experience. New at this release. I still feel like there's a lot of work involved with maintaining this deployment though. My manager just asked me to publish all, publish all the parcel data from our Enterprise Geo database and there's so many feature classes. Ugh, it just seems like a lot of work. Is it even hard of bulk publishing? Bulk publishing? What's that? Why don't you log in and I'll show you. When signed in, you can navigate to your content, add an item. You can see that there's now a data store. You can give it a title such as parcel data, choose the type of data store you're adding, choose database and give it some tags. From here, you can click Next, choose an SDE connection file. Perfect, yours was readily available. Now we want the publisher connection to stay the same. We'll add the data store. And then from there, after everything is validated, we will then see the item itself in Portal, navigate to Layers. We can create layers from this database connection. Now you need to have a folder, so we'll create a new one called Parcel Data, perfect. And from there, we will then choose the server. If we had multiple servers federated, we have other options here. And then the layers are created. Now there's 10 feature classes, so it's going to create 10 layers. And it'll take a moment to do that, and that is it. These services are read-only. Once they're published, you can go to ArcGIS Server Manager and enable Edit, Add, and Delete. And that's it. That's bulk publishing. Wow, that's so easy. Thanks, Jill. Hey Laura. Hey Jill, how are you? Doing good. Have you been able to upgrade to 1071 yet? Yeah, I have. I've actually been going over it with our friends here. Oh, I love being able to filter my data because our organization's enterprise portal has been set up to collaborate with our gas and electric companies. Oh yeah, you can filter by location or by collaboration. Jill, this is a game changer. Once we have our data, we can then share it via ArcGIS sites, which seems easier to use than ever. It is because the sites editor has a new look in 1071. It's definitely much more easier to use than before. Hey there, Thomas. How's it going? Hey, Jill. Pretty good, thanks. Uh, we've got ArcGIS Enterprise 1071 installed, and my GIS admin wants me to make a new custom homepage and gallery. Oh, right on. That sounds like it'll be fun to do. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I, I was a little bit concerned, though, because I see some options are missing from the settings page. Like, where can I set my utility services or my hosting server? Was, was there something wrong with my install? No, your install is actually fine. Remember that time you blew away the hosting server for the entire ArcGIS Enterprise deployment when you were a little click happy? <sighs> Oh yeah, almost forgot about that. Our admin did have to call tech support to fix everything. It looks like your admin took advantage of the fine grade administrative privileges available in 1071. So you can set the gallery, but you can no longer set the hosting server. You don't have all the admin privileges, just some of the admin privileges. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. At first I thought something was missing with the install. Actually, my portal admin told us that the install for 1071 was a lot faster this time around. Okay, that's actually expected behavior because the portal install no longer includes 3D web styles. Oh, what, what are web styles? Web styles just allow for 3D data to render within your portal. Nice. Yeah, we don't have any 3D data, so... Then, then you're good to go because it saves you machine resources and time with your installation. Now, if you do have the 3D data, you just need to do that one extra installation and you'll be set. Awesome. I better let my friend know. He works with a lot of scene services and I think they're moving to 1071 soon, so... Perfect. Nice. Sounds good. Jill, do you have a moment? Yeah, sure thing. I've just been telling our friends here what's new in ArcGIS Enterprise 1071. What's up? So I just upgraded our developed environment, mm -hmm. which brings me to my question. All of our web maps are doing fine, except one that is missing our national park data. All I have is just a web map and a boundary layer. That has been a reason, but I have had a hard time figuring out what's going on here. <laughs> By chance, was your national park data part of the Living Atlas? Yes, it is. Okay. So with 1071, 70 Living Atlas layers were retired, but that's not a big deal because all we need to do is just replace them, and then you should be good to go. So let's take a look. So you can refresh the web map see if there's any kind of message when it loads. 
perfect what I was expecting. Let's navigate to that doc tab you already have open. Look up Living Atlas. Click on that first one. Perfect. And from here, we can search for National Park. And we can see the item IDs of the retired items and the replaced items. We can use this current data's item ID to replace the retired layer in the web map. Let's not make our friends have to watch this, but once they have everything taken care of, your web map's good to go. Nice, my map is working again. Perfect. Bulk publishing, the new sign-in experience, new data filters, the ArcGIS Sites Editor, fine-grade administrative privileges, the web style setup, and retired content in the Living Atlas. That's just some of the new features and functionality to be aware of in ArcGIS Enterprise 1071. But don't just take my word for it. Take a look at the documentation and check it out for yourself.